Hello lovely people, welcome to the Geek Covered, I'm Penge, and welcome back to the Universum, where I'm sorry to say we don't have a Hyperlube. But we do have a lovely new Cosmodrome. Also, we do have quite a lot of upgrading to do. There are many different things which need upgrading into fancy space age versions of themselves. We've got water pumps and bridges and reservoirs. Already we've put the order out to go and upgrade things like farms and eateries and hospitals. So there is a lot of work to do. So I think let's get time ticking on, shall we? And we'll try and get some of that work done. But I would like to build a shiny new thing over here near to the Cosmodrome because I think it's going to require quite a bit of space. I think it might be interesting to build our very first airport. We haven't got an airport yet. Airports connect nuggets all over the world and can help cities grow. That sounds quite good. And also, they attract exile nuggets to the city, depending on the crime and happiness levels in your city. So happiness is very high, crime is very low. Of the, what have we got, about 920 nuggets, there are four criminals. That's pretty good. That is very good. Well done, Nugget Peter. You're keeping order very well. Splendid. So yeah, I think over here we get our first airport by imagining yeah, they are going to be quite big. Oh, they're very big. Okay, right. That is huge and it will require quite a bit of work over here because it's going to need firefighter huts and I imagine engineer huts and everything else. Unless, can we somehow fit it over here? I don't think we can. No, we can't fit it over here. And um, yeah, it still would require firefighter huts and things. Okay, let's put it over here then. Uh, the only thing is, I'm a bit concerned it will obliterate all these roads. Where's the front? Does it have a front? Ah, there's the front look. There's the pointy arrow to show us the front of the building. Um, I would like it to go over here, but now I'm thinking, should it go over here? Should we put it over here? It is going to annihilate lots of road networks. That's just going to happen because of the size of the thing. Um, is there a road going, there is a road kind of going across here, linking up these kind of end points here. If we put the airport just there, for example, would that mean that road is going to spring into existence? Because that would be quite good. Um, do you know what? Let's just put it down. I didn't look at the build requirements. I think they're just there. So 10 glass, five beams, five beams. Is that all? To build an entire airport, it requires five beams, five electronics, and some plastic. That can't be right, can it? That can't be right. Whatever the case, we're just gonna we're just gonna put it down. We're gonna put it there and hope that that road appears. That road has not appeared. Okay, I thought maybe the road might appear to link that stuff up just there, but okay, it hasn't. Which is a little bit of a shame. Can we make it appear? Could we inspire it to appear with the liberal application of other things? Um, we could. Put an engineer hut over here, for example. That could snap to the road just there, maybe. Is that going to make a road appear? Um, no, although that did go a bit weird just then. It kind of it looked like it sort of moved just where I placed it. It looked like it moved. Uh, get rid of that. Cancel that. Get rid of that, please. Make that go away. That should just sort of fall apart momentarily. And we don't want the engineer thing. There we go. Um, yeah, what if we put it sort of pause time again? What if... We put it um, here then. So that doesn't interfere with the roads, look. So put it there. Is that going to make that road appear? There we go. Right, so a little a little bit of road has appeared. <laughs> a tiny bit of road. Okay, bit odd. Uh, what else can we put along here then? What else can we put along here? Um, I mean, what's going to be quite useful? Maybe, maybe a garage. Maybe a garage over here so you can get off your plane... And then go and get some airport parking or whatever. That might be quite a good idea. Uh, we'll put that there. Okay, does that mean the road appears? There we go. That's what we wanted to see. That bit across the front of the airport. Okay, that's quite good. And then, could we get this bit linked up? Does it link up? Uh, we will get a firefighter hut, I think. Let's get one of these in. Oh uh, yeah, we'll put it on that corner, look. Perfect. So pop that in like that. And there we go. Wonderful. Okay, right. I feel a bit better about that now. I'm sort of okay with that. So there we go. We are going to get rid of quite a lot of trees. So we're going to have to use our magic godly tree power to just, you know, make a lot of trees elsewhere because that is a good number of trees that we are going to cut down. Oh, there's some plants. There's some plants. 
quickly check it's not the thing that we're missing. Uh, no, that's devil's lettuce. We have that and that. I think we've already got, haven't we? That's that. Yeah, okay. That's not the airport fruit. I want to click on the fruit, please. Nope. Again, that's that's not what I'm after. I'm clicking on the fruit. That's the, I know we're building an airport here, game. Okay, right. It's not letting me click on that fruit, but I'm fairly sure we have that. Or that is an airport fruit, possibly. And I think we've got that as well. I can't quite recall what that is, but I think we've got that too. So I don't think this is the sort of uh, food stuff we're missing. The one we're missing looks like sort of um, candy floss or cotton candy, or whatever you want to call it. So it's not that. Okay, right. That's all fine. Um, yeah, what are the requirements then? 10 glass, 5 beams, 5 electronics and 5 plastic. To build an entire airport, that seems... That seems way too low. That seems too low, but okay, apparently that's correct. So there we go. We shall get our first airport over here, which is going to be exciting. It might take a while. It might take a while for them to get that in. What's that going on down here? We've got little kind of pink lasers going on. Look at that. You've got pink lasers destroying the rocks. Okay, hang on. What are you guys doing? You are laborers and you're mining stone. Oh, so the... um. Like the stone mining tool is now a sort of a pink laser. And like we saw last time, the repairing tool is a green laser. Because we saw somebody uh, repairing, what was it, a cemetery was it possibly? And it had a green laser. So that's quite fun. Okay, okay. Oh, the leader of Mother Planet has died. That's less fun, particularly for the leader of Mother Planet. But there we go. So, okay, we are leaderless right now. But that's okay. We'll muddle through. Right, do we need anything else down here? What else do we need? Let's go through the bits and bobs. Um, okay, let's maybe... Do you know what? Over here, actually. Over here. Let's get us a... Oh, we can't put it in just here. <laughs> because the... Yeah, that was put in not by us, that defence tower thing. That was put in by the Ministry of Defence, who just... They've just put that thing in just anywhere, look. Just willy-nilly in the middle of nowhere. That's a bit silly. Um, we'll put a reservoir just uh, there because they're handy things to have around, just more water storage. And we'll get another one over here, I think, maybe over in this corner. That'll be quite nice. Where are I? Where's the front? There's the front. All right, so do that. And I think as well, maybe, hang on, where's our, where's our God power? Not, not Tornado, not that one. Where's the one where we make people come and live here? There we go. Holy ground. Maybe now we get some people to sort of move in over here. Because we're sort of coming round the other side of Cabordia now. This is sort of yeah the original bit where we started. And there's the big kind of incomplete planet cracker thing. And then we've got this bit over here. So maybe we should now get some people moving in around here. Let's do that. The lovely kind of flowers up here. It all looks very pretty. And maybe people will now move in over here. Although, before they do start building residences, let's just get the other things in. Let's just get a few more things in. So, um, a battery might be a good idea. Looks like we're capping out on power. So, let's get a few basics in. We shall have a battery. These are very teeny tiny. Um, oh, actually, it's a mountain there. Is it worth checking to see if there's iron in that mountain? Because we use iron for many things. Oh, okay, hang on. There might be some iron. There might be some iron around here that we could make use of. Um, yeah, okay. We'll have an iron mine. 1,073, 1,074. We can't put it there for a straight and leave no mines on a hill. <laughs> it doesn't make sense, game. It doesn't make sense. Um, yeah, okay. We can't get the most out of it, but we can get a 1,000 iron. Yeah, let's put that there then, just so we don't miss out. So yeah, 1,073. Is that the most we're going to get? It's going a bit bonkers with its sort of clipping there. But okay, yeah, 1,073. Okay, so get us a mine down, please. That's going to be good. Um, and is it worth checking for anything else? Is there um, gas? Is there, is there any gas around here? Well, there might be, you know. There might be. Maybe over here, look. We could get another 745 gas which would keep us going for quite a long time. So yeah, okay, we'll put a gas mine down as well. Uh, any other mines? Anything else that we need around here? Gas mines, stone mine, got plenty of stone. Not so bothered about that. Oil, got loads of that. Okay, ooh, courier hut, that's what we need. Yep, yeah, let's get all the essentials in. So a courier hut, 
that could go in over here maybe pop one of those in right go back over here because we were doing this stuff here um yeah so a battery uh we didn't put a battery in i don't think did we because we were looking we can fit other things in it's too sort of hilly on that side if we put that there does that complete that road ah good but for some reason that road has now vanished which doesn't make any sense <laughs> That doesn't make any sense, game. Come on. Putting a building there doesn't affect the road down here. That's just bonkers. Okay, never mind. And then, just to make sure we don't run out of power, let's get some solar panels in. We could put them in just... Can we rotate them around? Can we put them that way? So it is pointing at the road that never was. Pop that in like that. Okay. Yeah, that... I don't know what's happened to that road. It's gone a bit strange. So we get some solar panels and... Get some wind turbines in. And I know this is all costing loads of materials, but it does make sense. It makes sense to get all these in, just to make sure that we're you know, doing it properly. Pop that in like that. And then in the middle, are we able to get a park of some kind? There's a gap just there. Could we fit a park in? Yes, we can. Okay, so that'll be quite good to bring pollution down and such like. That's very good. And then... I would also like to get in an air filter to properly bring down pollution. And yeah, they go quite well over here to the air filters because they're near to the chemicals. So pop another one of those in. That kind of materializes in. Um, okay, I think that's it for all that stuff. Uh, resource gathering, maybe an eatery. An eatery over here would not be a bad shout. Can one go on the corner? No, unfortunately not. Can one go just here? So you can you know, get off your plane and then nip next door for some food. Yeah, we'll put one there. So that's going to be quite good. Maybe one over here. If we're expanding over in this part of the world. Let's get another eatery in. Yay for eateries. There we go. Uh, we've got we've got 11,000 raw food. And 1,200 cooked meals. So if we can get more eateries in. Just to make better use of our raw food. That does make sense. So there we go. We have got a gap over here. Can we, in that gap, fit another park? No, not quite. Not quite, unfortunately. Although, we have got a couple of the littler parks left. We've got one anti-city alley and one Cupidon park. The Cupidon parks are smaller, I think. Although, sadly, not that small. Okay, never mind, never mind. Can we get one of the tiny parks in? Can we get an anti-city alley in? Uh, we might not get it there, but it could possibly go just here. Yeah, okay, pop that into the middle just there. And what else do we need round here? I like it when we get to do these bits. When we get to do like a big building project, you get to put all the things down. It's quite fun. Um, go back to here. So eateries, fishing pit, a warehouse. I did notice that we are knocking on the door of using up all of our storage space again. So uh, yeah, we'll have a warehouse just here, please. Just to keep a few more bits and bobs. Is it worth getting another warehouse in somewhere? Maybe over here if we could. That might be quite a good idea. Just, uh, oh, okay, hang on a minute. Maybe it's not going to fit entirely to the road network. That'll do. Pop one over there. Some more roads can appear. Very nice. I think, is that going to be everything right now? We don't need any of these things. I think we've covered all that stuff in there. We've got the courier hut coming in. Um, we don't need farms. I mean, can we get another courier hut in over here? Can we fit one in behind that building in front of the road? No, we can't. Can we get one on this side? Yeah, okay, yeah. Pop that in like that. Okay, that's good. Right, so we've got plenty of building work going on. And I think we don't need anything from there just yet. Defence-wise, or oh, bunker might be quite a good idea. They're only very small as well. Could that fit very handily in that gap there? I think it can. Yeah, oh, botheration, it moved <laughs> It moved just as I was going to place it. It moved. No. Cancel that. Put the road back, please. I want the road back in. There we go. That's going to clear off. And then we'll put the bunker back in where it's supposed to be. <laughs> uh, where was it? Defence. Bunker. Uh, turn it round. Uh, where are we? Snap to the thing and click. There we go. No need to destroy the road. It's all good. Right. That's plenty of work for them to get on with. That is a lot of work. And, of course, a gigantic airport as well. So, uh, yeah, there we go. We shall leave them to finish all this stuff off. There's uh, 
there is a fair old pile of stuff for them to work through. Do you know what? Whilst we wait, let's go and plant some trees, shall we? That's always quite helpful for the planet. That could be a good thing to do. So yes, what is it looking like right now? The atmosphere is on 79 out of 100. Okay, so not particularly great. So where can we put some trees down? I mean, where's our kind of big built-up areas? Where are they? Has that got trees in it? That looks quite tree-ish already. It looks like we've done that bit. We haven't done this bit. There's a bit of a fire over there. Do we need to be concerned about that? Um, okay, so trees. We've got loads and loads of creator points. We've capped out at 1,000. So let's spend a fifth of them on some trees just there. There we go. Lots of lovely trees. Just, you know, filling in the gaps and making it look a little bit sort of less bleak. Um, and that's back up to 13,000 trees. That's quite good. Happy about that. Uh, this all looks quite tree-ish. We've been around here before, I think. Again, it's quite hard to see with the sort of white of winter against everything. It is quite tricky to work out what's going on because it does sort of distort the view a little bit. Um, over here doesn't look very tree-ish. Not enough trees over here. More trees. 160 points on that. Many trees popping up around there. Lovely. Um, over here looks a bit bland. Although I suspect, yeah, that's in their territory, isn't it? Um, that isn't, though. Uh, 110 points. There we go. Oh, and people are very happy. We're getting more believers. This is wonderful. Uh, the atmosphere back up to 80. Okay, so we have improved the quality of the atmosphere. And we're just filling in gaps. We're just filling in gaps around our kind of buildings, which does make sense. Uh, let's get a bit over here, look. So 200 points of trees over there. If that's doing anything, I'm not entirely sure. I think it is. I think it is. Not a lot, though. It's not doing a lot. Again, I can't... Like, some of the trees over here, look. There are trees already here, but they're just covered in snow. They're so completely sort of whited out when we go high up that it looks like there's nothing there. And then, if we go here and say 200 points worth of trees, they should all appear looking very lovely. Not as many as I thought there might be. But yeah, some of them, again, are covered in snow. So I oh know there are quite a lot, actually. There are quite a lot. Um, okay, the atmosphere up to 81. Okay, so we are making a difference. We have used up a good pile of our creator points. So we shall wait for them to come back. We'll wait for them to come back. But that's quite good. That's made a bit of difference. Yeah, pollution is ticking up again now. Pollution is creeping up, I assume, because we have a lot of polluty buildings going on and you know, various other things. Where was that fire? Where was the fire? I think it might be over here on account of the smoke. Um, that's burning down trees. So that's bad. So here we go. We shall sort that out. Let's rain on that thing. Thank you. Put the fire out and save some trees. Yeah, these are all now a little bit, a little bit charred. So that's not going to be great. But we have at least stopped that now. So the fire stopped. It can't burn down any more trees. Okie doke. Wonderful stuff. Yeah, look at the amount of things we took, right? There are so many things. <laughs> and we're not even done with the research stuff yet. We're not even done. If we fly through to the end, I don't know why it doesn't sort of put us to where we are in the research tree. Um, we're going to research that so we can get space gas mines. And then we've got all that to go as well. So who knows what that's going to unlock. Ray guns unlocks blasters. Okay, right. Yeah, we can pretend that we're in Star Trek. That's going to be fun. Um... Okay, right, so plenty to do. There is a lot going on. But yeah, how are they doing back over here? Um, they do get stuff done quickly these days. They do get stuff done very quickly. Look at that. We've got the mining already, the iron mine. We've got various bits and bobs going on over here. We've got the garage and the engineer hut, the firefighting places in. Something is being 3D printed. Oh, reservoirs being 3D printed. That's all pretty good. Um, is it worth maybe getting another air filtering just to really make sure that we try and deal with the pollution because the last thing we want is just a horrible polluty planet so um yeah can it fit in just here without annihilating the road uh, ah yeah it can oh or maybe not i don't know can it fit yes i think it can fit in just there so pop one in like that please so get another air filter and again i know it uses a lot of resources that we do want to keep for other things but I think it's probably worth doing. Uh, the airport has got some of the stuff in. It's lacking beams and it's lacking electronics. Okay, prioritise the airport, please. Let's make this an important thing. 
get that set up. Oh, one thing we could go and look at is um, maybe doing some trading with our neighbours. And um, yes, in the previous video, lots of people were very keen to point this out in the comments in the previous video. I somehow entirely failed to notice that somebody, I don't know who it was, I don't think it was Loveland, I think it was Carinaville, um, they were selling beams. They were selling beams, there were 16 of them, and for some reason I read the 16 as a zero. So it said, hey, I've got 16 beams, and I went, oh, they haven't got any beams. I, I don't know why, I have no explanation, I'm not very good at numbers, and I somehow just you know, read a one and a six, and my brain said zero. So let's go and see if you've got anything that we could have off you. Um, no, nothing interesting at all. Uh, we've got plenty of chemicals, we've researched hydraulic fracturing, which is good, so we don't need gas, definitely don't need bricks or chemicals or planks or stone, and I think we took all your electronics last time. Yeah, it does say zero, look, so there aren't any of those. Okay, so none of that, um, and then back over here we go to Capital City. Hello, Capital City. Can we do some trading with you? Um, it wasn't you guys, either. yeah, so it was Carinaville who were just here. Hey, Carinaville, have you got some beams? Oh, look, there's 16 of them. <laughs> I'm going to buy those 16 beams. That's what I'm going to do. I don't know why I saw that as zero. I must have been looking at the numbers at the bottom and just sort of got momentarily confused. But, um, do you know, it's not many, but the, currently we've got four beams. So 16 beams is a huge improvement on the four. So we will take 16 beams, thank you, um, for, uh, I don't know, how about double the amount of bricks? No, okay. Uh, what about three times the amount of bricks, which would be 48? Yeah, there we go. That'll do. Uh, trade. We will have some of that, thank you. Right, I've got a few more beams to do some more building projects. We have an infected zone just out in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> okay, what happened over here? I don't know what happened over here. Uh, right, well, let's help out, shall we? Let's pick you up. And we shall find ourselves a nearby graveyard. Lots of animals walking around this bit. Um, I'm not quite sure which bit. We're at. Ah, the, the pyramid. Okay, there is a graveyard around here somewhere. It's in the middle. There we go. Boop. Down it goes. Um, do we need to put another graveyard? Oh, no, there's one there. Okay, that's quite good. Do we need to put another one in the new bit that we're building on the side of here? I don't think we put a graveyard down, did we? And that will become a problem when people die around here because then they're just sort of their corpses will lie around for a good long time. Let's get some cemeteries in, shall we? That bit over there is covered. Okay, so this bit over here isn't covered. So if we put one cemetery in here, it's on a bit of a weird angle, but it will not destroy the roads, which is good. So drop one in like that to cover this great big area. And then we're going to need one kind of over here. Um, where is it going to fit over here? Where will it go? Uh, yeah, it, it, the area there is sort of covered. It's sort of covered. Um, yeah, is everywhere else covered? Are we looking good? That does cover quite an area. But yeah, we have got a little bit over here, which isn't quite enough. How about we just put it... I mean, could it go along here? can't clip onto there because of that thing. Whatever that building is there. An eatery, isn't it? Can't go on that corner. Okay, it's going to have to go like this, I think. So it can snap to there. So if we put that just there, boop, sorted. Okay, lovely. And then, have we got... We've got one Cupid on Park. Why don't we just put that down? And that'll just drop pollution by a percent. Which makes perfect sense. Let's do that as well, shall we? Um, put that. Is it weird putting a park next to a graveyard? <laughs> I kind of feel like it's a little bit of an odd thing to do. Um, there's a gap here. Let's tuck it into that gap because that's quite nice. So there we go. And that row can then appear, which is handy, I suppose. Right. There we go. Lovely stuff. Um, is there anything else that we need to put in? We can't do any legendary buildings, can we? Um, a few people, again, the comments have said we should build a... Where is it? The Nugget, the Nuggetoid Factory. Because they said they're quite good. The Nuggetoids are quite good things. We might do that, but I think yeah, today's big job is getting the airport in. And if we could, I wouldn't mind getting another airport in as well. Just so yeah, they can fly around between two locations. But yeah, I'd like to get that done. And then maybe try and get all the upgrades done. 
get all of these things sorted out. So everything we can upgrade, I would like to get upgraded. It might take a very long time, but um, I think it's probably going to help out quite a bit. And then, when that's done, we're then going to save up and build a new Hyperlube. Because I was sad last time that the other one didn't work out. So we'll try and get that done. Um, gas mines. Can we upgrade them? Cement. How are we for cement? Are we still making that? I don't think we're using it. 1,509. You've got loads of cement. Uh, beams, electronics, plastic. Yeah, okay. Yes, that's fine. Upgrade all the gas mines then, please. And they're waiting for one beam to go into the airport. And then they can start construction work. Okie doke, lovely, let's get them a beam and they can do some building. Okay, we have another election, what's going on? We've got Zinval proposing a religious focus, so less research and more creator points, which is sort of okay. And then Chazubos proposing the complete opposite, they're saying, yeah, work on science please and not creator points. And then right to arms, allow the nuggets to carry personal weapons, injury rate goes up, happiness goes up, wild animal attack chance comes down, we have seen a few wild animal attacks recently with the wolves. But I think we should be okay. Thing is, we're not doing any kind of science right now. Because we're kind of, yeah, we're putting the brakes on the science until we can catch up with all of the upgrades we need to do. Because we do tend to fly through the science pretty quickly, really. And then it takes a long while to actually apply the results of what we've learned. So I think for now, we shall leave it on religious focus. Top up our creator points by 15% quicker which means we can do more stuff. We can, you know, I know, cast more spells and get more trees growing and all that kind of stuff. So, yeah, I think we shall leave it with Zinval. Uh, I don't know what job Zinval has. Are they a builder of some kind? They've got like a spirit level type thing and a welder's mask. Uh, oh, and Chizubos appears to be in a similar role. Might be an engineer, possibly. And I don't know what job you have. But uh, yeah, we'll go for Zinval, please, because that seems to make sense at this point in time. Oh yes, the keyhole thing. Let's talk about the keyhole thing, shall we? So quite a few people in the comments on previous videos have said to me that I should click on the keyhole icon on a residential building to then get an exciting surprise. And it turns out that what happens is you go inside the building and have a little look around. And I've been looking on our residential buildings for a good long time thinking, where is the keyhole icon? I can't see the keyhole icon. A few people said it was the gray buttons down here. And a few people said it was down here or to the left of the sort of building on off button. And I couldn't see it. And I was thinking, well, OK, either it's something that doesn't happen in the game anymore or people are just kind of you know, trying to trick me and make me look something which isn't there. And it turns out they're sort of both correct. So as it stands right now in this particular age of the game, we don't have the keyhole button. It's just not there. But if we were to go back in time and put down like a Stone Age residential building, there would be a little keyhole button and you can click it and you can go inside and look around the house. Now, I didn't do that, so I don't know what it looks like. But then apparently, I think people have said one of the things we sort of pick up, one of the technologies we research is some sort of privacy thing. So when you get that, the keyhole thing disappears because, you know, they can lock their doors and they can stop us going in to look around. So, you know, we have certain god powers but not that level of god power. So I thought that was quite interesting. So, uh, so yeah, people were correct. There is a keyhole kind of icon thing at some point in the game, but not where we are right now. So we could go and look in the Zone Age buildings, but we can't look in these kind of modern buildings because that's just not a thing that we can do anymore because the Nuggets have very cleverly worked out how to lock the door. Hang on a minute, there's an aeroplane over there. There's a plane. There's another plane. Have they finished the airport? I think they might have finished the airport. Yes, they have. Oh, look, we have our very first airport. Oh, that's very, very impressive. Nugget Airlines. Oh, I like the logo. Oh, that's lovely. And I like the colour scheme. I know it's not exactly geek of a corporate colour. So we've got the sort of the blue and the yellow, but I do like it with the purple. I think it works quite well with the purple. Oh, that's wonderful. That is very, very good. Look at that. We've got a little airport. That's wonderful. And they've got a little kind of runway area too. Okay, that's very exciting. I like that. Oh, look. They've got the little kind of, uh, like the luggage things, is that? Where they put the luggage in them and then move them to the plane and kind of load the plane up with the luggage. I imagine, yeah, look, there's the little, I don't know what these things are called. My airport terminology is somewhat limited, but the little kind of extendy corridor things where people can walk along and get to the planes got sort of a terminal over here there's another terminal there we've got a sort of control tower over here that is really good 
I like that. That is very, very good. And then, yeah, there were planes. So can we go and find one of the planes? Can we go and have a look at a Nugget aeroplane? Because, you know, the plane kind of came free with the airport, which is quite good. I do like the little plane on top, by the way. That's quite fun. Just in case you weren't sure what the airport was, it's showing you the kind of thing that you're going to get when you come here, which is quite fun. But, you know, that's quite good. All airports should have that. All airports in the real world should have a little kind of plane tacked on the top there. Um, Yeah, can we go and find a plane? Can we find a plane? There were definitely some flying about. Uh, let's go and see if we can find one. They can't be that hard to find because there we go. Look there. Because you know, they're the only things we have kind of flying about other than birds or whatever. Um, Yeah, okay. So there is an aeroplane. Th this, that's brilliant. I like that. Can we click it? Uh, ooh. Uh, oh, we make it. Do we make it wobble? If we click it, do we make it? Oh, no, it's, it's just moving around, I think. No, okay, that's not us doing it. It's just kind of adjusting for the curvature of the Earth, I imagine. Okay, that's fine. Um, There we go. Look at that. We've got a plane flying over our city. That looks very good. <laughs> I like that. I like the plane. Okay, there we go. We've got our first plane. And yeah, there was another one as well. There was a, um, is it blue or purple? There, that one. We've got a plane over here as well. Oh, this is very good. Now, what we need is another another airport. Because at the minute, people can just... You know, they can get in the plane and fly around, but then they land where they started. So, at the minute, it's a little bit kind of pointless. So, maybe, maybe we should look at getting another airport set up. Possibly on the other side of the planet to where the existing one is. So, I mean, over here would be quite good. There's a load of room just there. There's a load of room over here now. I mean, you know, a Hyperloop would be good over here somewhere, wouldn't it? But but no, no, because that clearly didn't work well last time. Where was that? Where was the Hyperloop going to be? Was it over here somewhere? I forget now. I forget everything. It was over here. It was just here, wasn't it? That's where it was going to go. I mean, yeah, maybe over here. It's a big load of open space. How near is that to the, um, to the thing? To the existing airport? So, oh, it's not actually that far away. <laughs> <laughs> it's only over there. Okay, maybe not there then. So if we went to the other side of the planet, if we went to the other side of the world, so somewhere, say, over here? But that's, that's whatever it is. That capital city, is it? Yeah, we can't rebuild really over there. I mean, here would be quite good. But I think, where's capital city's bubble? Um, oh, we might be able to fit one in. And that does seem to be on the other side of the world. I mean, if we zoom out as far as we can go, so, um, yeah, do you know what? I think that might be about the other side of the planet. So it would sort of make sense, maybe, to get one in, maybe even around here, possibly. Could we do that? But, yeah, just there would be better. I think that's a little bit more the opposite side of the planet. Yeah, okay, let's see if we can do that. If we could fit one in over there, that would be amazing. Because then it kind of makes it, it gives it more of a purpose. At the minute, it, it's it's a bit of a pointless airport because you can't go and land anywhere else. <laughs> so it's a, bit, it's a bit of an oddity right now. Um, yeah, okay. Oh, you can only have one airport? Well, where, where do they fly to? <laughs> I don't understand. Where do they fly to? Because they can't land anywhere because there aren't any other airports. Okay. Right, you can only have one. Oh, okay. I, I am surprised. Oh, I wanted to get one over here. And then we could have like a lovely kind of transport network going on. But but no, apparently not. Oh, crikey, there's an infected zone. Oh, it's down here. <laughs> of course it is. Hang on, let's pick up the um, let's pick up the dead chef. There we go. No one around either. So I don't think anybody saw. So nobody's going to be scared. Uh, oh, there are some amazing futuristic buildings now. Look at the farms. The farms look brilliant. They're like these multi-level kind of hydroponic things look. Got the sort of crops growing in these sort of gigantic big sort of trays almost. That's very good. The farms are fantastic. Oh yeah, a few people did point out that the um, the new hospitals look like a giant sort of futuristic syringe needle thing, which is quite good. I like that. Um, yeah, we've dealt with the infected zone, I think. Uh, how are we looking in terms of this? Yep, the Nuggets are loving us. That is completely brilliant. Um, environment, back down to 80 atmosphere kind of air quality. Can we put some more trees down now that we can see what we're doing? Because, um, oh, look, it's over here. It's very tree over there. Maybe in this bit, look. 
I know that's sort of a new bit, but there's not that many trees in this bit here. So possibly we could get some more in over there. Um, can we put down any more kind of parks or anything? That brings pollution down a bit. These parks are quite big. There's already two of them over here. How about we took another park just there? That's quite fun. The park will get rid of some trees, but then we will use magic tree powers and yeah, sort of go from there, I think. And we'll spend 120 points and just popping some more trees in. There we go. Just to fill those gaps in. Lovely. Oh, yeah, the deserty kind of things over here because it's a bit deserty. Splendid stuff. Okay, I like that. That's looking pretty good. Uh, okay, right. Does that help at all? Uh, not overly. And pollution is still ticking up a bit. Plus 6.7% per year. Okay, we do need to nip that in the bud. How are the, um, how are the lakes doing? Do we need to do anything with any lakes? That one, water quantity 61%. Oh, oh yeah, we should possibly do some rain on this. Hang on a minute, I'm just going to do some rain. Bit of rain, bit of rain, bit of rain. Let's try and get that filling back up. Producing 30 units of water per second. So yeah, let's try and fill that back up. Somebody is preparing a bucket of water for the oncoming fire. Hang on, what? There's a fu- Where's a fire? Somebody over here is preparing for a fire. I suspect maybe it's been dealt with by the, um, by the- Oh no, 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 they haven't. Okay. <laughs> right, is it being handled? I think the Nugget Fire Department are on it. I can see somebody here with a, a fire, sort of, a fire service uniform on. Um, do you need some help with this? Or have you got this sorted? No, it's all done. It's all done. The stone mine is now absolutely fine. Okay, there's not a lot of stone left in the stone mine. It is, uh, it's running out of stone, but that's probably fine. We have got 3,000 units of it. Oh, that's run out. Oh, no, it's running out. Okay, no, that's fine. We'll deal with that when the time comes as well. But how are we looking with this? Up to 67%. Uh, okay, we'll cast another thing over there. So four contributors. Let's try and top that back up. Uh, how's that one looking? 88%. Okay, a little bit of stuff on that one. That's looking low. Oh, that's looking very low. Look, they're not in the water anymore. 54%? Oh dear. <laughs> Hang on, we'll, we'll top that up as well. Sorry, everybody. Sorry, planet. That one is probably not too bad. 88%, so we'll do that. And we'll wash away the pollution. Lovely stuff. And this one over here, I don't think we drain much out of it but it sometimes gets polluted, but it's fine right now. Oh, okay, right, that's pretty good. And that one is 71% and 18% polluted. Okay, <laughs> let's top this up as well, shall we? Let's use all of our magic powers on making sure that the planet is quite healthy. And we'll just try and top it back up. Some boats coming back out going, oh, hang on a minute, there's more water here than there was the other day. I think you can see it kind of going up, look. You can see it. Oh no, that, that's the tide penge. But no, I think it is getting higher. I think it is getting higher, which is good. Which is good. That's what we want to see. Okie doke. Right. Wonderful stuff. How is that looking now? 70%. It's still not great, is it? I think maybe we need to keep on just topping these back up because otherwise we're going to run out of water and that would be a bad thing. That would be bad. Yeah, look, I think that, that used to be right on the edge. And they used to be right on the edge, and now the water here is quite low. Okay, use the final bits of our of our creative power points to just top that up the tiniest bit more. Because it's only on 70%, so that's not great. Um, okay, right. We at least know that's a problem now, so we can work on that. We can try and deal with that. But um, yeah, okay, right. Big important thing, keep our eye on the water levels. We used to do that quite a lot, but we're taking our eye off the ball a bit with that. But um, yeah, so see what we can do. Pollution down to 2, atmosphere up to 82, which is pretty good. Yeah, okay, that's splendid. And we can see a plane over here. Hello, plane. <laughs> Hi. Uh, it's a pity we can't sort of click on it and see what's going on inside. It'll be fun. That's just love land. Hi, love land. But while we're here, any more trade offers going on? Anything we can do for trade? Uh, no, nothing there. And then, don't know where anybody else is. Where's everybody else? Uh, capital city. Do you want to do some trading? Uh, yes, but not anything that we overly need. 
and then over here to Carinaville. Hello, Carinaville. Would you like to do some trading? Uh, ah, no, we can't because the cooldown hasn't taken effect yet. Okay, doke. Never mind. Right, there we go. So uh, right now, we go back to upgrades. We go back to upgrades. Um, we need 46 steel beams just to do the construction work that we've queued up. And then we need a lot more to do the rest of the upgrades. So, um, okay, run time on very quickly indeed. And let's just get making steel beams, really. That's the thing that's kind of slowing us down. So, um, yeah, steel beam factories, no pressure, but can you just you know, make a lot of beams really, really soon? Thank you. Okay, the stone mine over here has no more stone to extract, even though it's clearly on a great big mountainside made of stone, but okie doke. So, uh, yeah, all the nuggets have left. Let us tear that building down because there is no point to it being there. Oh, there's a fire, apparently. Uh, salvage that. There is a fire somewhere. You have noticed a fire, and where? Whereabouts? Uh, oh, okay, uh, we're going to help with that. We're going to help with that, because that could cause quite a bit of damage if it went unchecked. No, no, we've, done, we've sorted that out. It's all fine. Don't you worry, everybody. I'm here to help. Uh, yeah, that could have been quite bad, couldn't it? That could have been quite bad. Uh, right, yep, okay, wonderful. Back we go to waiting. Have we got any stone coming in? Produced by buildings. Okay, so we have no stone coming in, but we have got 3,000 stone in reserve and 1,500 bricks. So I think we can live without a stone mine for now because, yeah, we can just sort of churn our way through that stone and just free up some warehouse storage space. We've got so much stuff stored away, look. So, um, yeah, that stone is taking up quite a big chunk of it. What's that? About 10% of our storage space is just bits of stone. So we'll work our way through that, I think. We'll try and sort of bring that number down. But uh, yeah, let's not get another stone mine in just yet anyway. We can always you know, just build another one if we really desperately need to get some stone nice and quick. Okay, we don't need any more steel beams for construction, which means now we can go and do some more upgrades and then, of course, begin demanding steel beams for construction because that's how this thing kind of works. So what do we upgrade now? I'm thinking maybe... We upgrade a few water pumps. So what do we need? So they're going to need a handful of beams, some electronics and some plastic. We've got those, but we don't want to do it all at the same time because that might possibly cause a few water issues. So maybe we should go through and say, um, OK, that water pump, um, we might lose quite a chunk of water, but we're going to have to do it. They need to be upgraded at some point. So, yeah, OK, do that one and then do a reservoir. That means we might lose some water as well, but okay. And do that reservoir. That's absolutely fine. So it's only two beams. Hang on. Do we not need beams for... Oh, it's electronics and plastic for the reservoirs. Of course it is. Um, okay. We haven't got that much electronics right now, but we could possibly go and do some trading because I think... Was it you guys over here? Did you have electronics? Yeah, you've got 82. Can we buy 82 of your electronics, please? That'd be quite nice. Oh, there's another infected zone somewhere. Um, and would you like some stone? No, some bricks, sorry. Some bricks, not just regular old stone. No, absolutely not. That's not good enough. Um, would you like 333? <laughs> yes, you would. Okay, wonderful. So we'll do that. So that gets us up to 145 electronics. Where is the infected zone? It's in front of this thing. We're going to have to do something about this. We need to do something about this. Um, okay, hang on a minute. Let me pick that up. We scared some nuggets. One of them crashed into a farm, I think. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, right, boop, in you go. Um, right, we'll come back to the upgrading in a second. Hang on a minute. Nuggets are infected. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Um, right, can we get a graveyard over here somewhere? A cemetery. Yeah, there's that one little kind of gap there where it just doesn't fit. Look, <laughs> they just can't fit one in and it's just not covered. Which is just really unfortunate. It's just this little tiny bit just here. Tiny gap in service. And they're so big. The graveyards are so big. I don't think we can fit one in. <laughs> this is a little bit unfortunate. It's a little bit unfortunate. Um, what is that just there? That is a cement factory. Okay, we have got quite a big pile of cement. Do we need that now? Is that the only one we've got? Or have we got another one somewhere? Hang on a second. We can work that out. Um, cement factory. We have got another one over there. 
and I don't think we use that much cement anymore. So maybe what we could do is we could now get rid of this. Um, does it also cause pollution? I would imagine it would cause a little bit of pollution. Um, yeah, it causes plus 0.6 pollution and takes a bit of water and a bit of power. So I think maybe what if we switch that building off, we power it off for now. So yeah, switch that off and then get rid of it. Just get rid of it because I don't think we need that much cement anymore. If we do, we can always build another one. But I think we've got over one and a half thousand units of cement. I mean, yeah, that's a lot of cement right there. So I think get rid of that, please. And then deal with the rubble. That's nine beams. Nine lovely beams can come our way. Very welcome. So salvage that, please. And then here we shall put a graveyard to deal with all the corpses of the people that seemingly drop dead quite a lot from this eatery. I'm not quite sure what's happening with that eatery. I don't know why people keep dying so much over there. I mean, yeah, is it the food? Have they passed their hygiene standards test? I'm not quite sure. Or maybe it's just a very popular place for people to go and drop dead. I don't know. I'm not sure. So hopefully when that's being cleared away, and I think they are on it. It looks okay. Maybe they're not on it. It looked like people were on it. But I think, yeah, as soon as that's been cleared away. There we go. Somebody's on it. Pink sort of laser thing. So uh, that can go away. And then we shall put a cemetery in there. That's what we will do, because uh, yeah, then it can cover this bit over here, and you just help out everywhere else too. Um, we have got meteors coming in soon-ish, which is not ideal, but there we go, never mind. Uh, right, let's go back over to here, and uh, yeah, reservoirs. Let's just upgrade a few of these, absolutely, and that one please, and that one. It's doing some random, I don't know why it's sort of, it's randomising where we go, is it? I don't quite know why it's jumping around so much, but there we go. Right. So, that's reservoirs done, and that's only that's still zero. Yeah, because of course, they, they've checked this already, Penge. They require electronics and plastic, and now we have enough of those. How about we upgrade the bridges? 65 beams. We've got 62 right now. So, by the time they've got round to moving the resources over, we should have enough beams. So, yes, please. Can we upgrade our bridges to space bridges? And then the rest of it is just, yeah, reservoirs and water pumps. Do you know what? We're going to do all the reservoirs. Uh, nine chair electronics, we've got that. 42 plastic, we've got that. Boop. There we go. So all that's left are water pumps. That's all we have left to upgrade now. So yeah, we'll do those gradually, I think. We'll do those gradually. But um, yeah, okay, wonderful. Let's get time ticking on and let's get all those other upgrades nice and finished. Do you know what we don't have over here near the airport? We don't have a police station. It's all a little bit lawless around here right now. So I think maybe we get another police station in. That could be quite good. In fact, where are the other police stations? Oh, crikey. Okay, we have very much neglected law enforcement. Okay, let's put a few of these around, shall we? Uh, we'll pop one there so they can look after... Uh, oh no, hang on, that's not snapping to road. That is though, right. So one over there, that'll annoy the neighbours, but that's fine. And then we'll get another one kind of in here. They don't have a little area of effect type thing like other buildings of this type do, but there we go. Uh, we'll put that one over here, I think, just to make sure that people behave themselves over here. So boop, uh, there is another fire. Why are there so many fires starting recently? Um, they're on it. Okay, it's it's an eatery over here. I think the Nugget Fire Service are on it. I think they're on it. Are they on it? Yes, okay. Just a few kind of charred trees now. High temperature alert. Um, yeah, that does come up occasionally, but I don't think it's entirely correct. I think, yeah, that it was a little bit warm over here. Over here was very warm because, you know, it was on fire. But I think the planet's sort of okay. Um... Right, now I've completely forgotten what we were doing. What were we doing before? <laughs> oh, that's running out of stuff. Oh, hang on. That's a futuristic gas mine, look. That's a fancy future one, a space gas mine. Oh, that's quite good. Ah, that old jack has run out of stuff. Absolutely, yep. Yeah, destroy that. And we will salvage the bits. Thank you so much. Um, okay, yep, yeah, we've destroyed the old jack. That's okay. We know that to be the case. We'll come back and sort that out. There's quite a lot to do all of a sudden. Oh yeah, police. That's what we're doing. Police, police, police. Right, grab another police station, please. Uh, yeah, th this area, 
It's covered by that one, I suppose. Should be all right. Um, but yeah, kind of, there's one there and one there. There's not one over here in this big kind of new bit of town we put together. Can we fit a police station in? Um, I think we can. I think it can go just there. So, boop. There we go. Police station goes in. And that should cover this area here. That should be plenty of police officers to go make sure the Nuggets are behaving themselves. Okay, we have another Nugget election. We've got Religious Focus again from Sofesco. At the minute, I am inclined to go for that one. Elderly Assisted Living. Elders can mate, but it might possibly kill them to death. And Safety Guidelines. There's a 15% less chance of them getting injured. Again, I think we go for Religious Focus. Because we're not doing research right now, so it doesn't matter about the hit to our research rate. But we do get our creator points up 15% quicker, which is quite handy at the minute. So we can, you know, plant trees and do nice stuff. So there we go. Well, hang on, did we leave it on you? Yeah, absolutely. So well, yes. Could we please vote for Sofesco, please? Ah, right. They've cleared away the remains of the cement factory. So let's go over here and let's get us a cemetery. Here we go. We can finally get something in over here. And just sort out all of the uh, all of the corpse problems. So yeah, we'll pop one in just there, please. That's going to be lovely. We do have a bit of a gap just here. What can we put just here? Can we get one of those little parks in? If we could, that would be magnificent. I think we can. We'll pop that there, uh, and then could we even go so far as to get a local business in just on that corner there? I think we can. Yeah, pop that in as well, just to make people happier. Right. Lovely, that's going to be quite a nice little place now. And it means that the corpses that will inevitably tumble out of this eatery here can actually be dealt with without us having to intervene. I mean, I shall miss that part of my job. I shall miss that. You know, it, was, it was always fun going over here and picking up a corpse and flying it around through the air, terrifying everybody, and then throwing it from up on high into a graveyard. I shall miss that, but I think it's probably better that the Nuggets take care of that themselves and then they can be a bit less scared that we are then kind of, you know, making corpses fly around. I've just noticed the Space Age Lumber Camp. I mean, that is very impressive. It's very impressive. I mean, that's not the only thought that springs to mind. Slightly excessive, I would have thought. <laughs> D does it need to look like this? Is it supposed to look like a tree? Is that what we're going for there? It's got like a sort of, uh, you know, it's tall and green and it's got kind of roots at the bottom. Is it supposed to look like a tree? I mean, the fact is that all the work goes on on the ground there. You don't really need a massive pointy building. It's, I mean, it's got wonderful pointy bits on it, but it is very big. Possibly slightly too grandiose for just some people down here on the floor chopping down trees. But do you know what? I like it. That's fine. I do quite like that. There's a criminal out there who's stolen some of your resources. As long as it's not these steel beams, I'm absolutely fine. And we only need seven more of those for construction work and then that'll be that sorted okay this is pretty good <gasps> the bridge the bridge is being upgraded space bridge it's 30 percent of the way through 31 percent now that's our numbers work now 32 my goodness me there's a pattern here um okay this is going to be great what does a space bridge look like oh okay it's got it's got kind of like nice sort of curved curved sort of i don't know they're got like support bits Across there like that. That looks very nice. That looks very fancy. What are the little kind of... What are those little sort of floating things? What's all that about? It's like random dots and things. I assume that's part of the sort of building overlay, is it, or something? Uh, right, okay. Let's let them finish work on the bridge. They are... Um, what was that? About halfway through? Yeah, just over halfway through. So let's let them finish that off, shall we? And then we can look at a space bridge. Oh, and Sofesco won the election. Well done, Sofesco. Good job. Okay, they're putting the final touches to the space bridge. And there we go. It's done. We have a space bridge. And you know what? I quite like it. I quite like it. They're lit up. The kind of wavy, woobly bits are lit up. One thing I didn't do then was switch off the space bridge before the upgrade. I think a few people did say when we upgraded the bridge last time that we should actually switch the bridge off because they have seen Nuggets going to try and drive onto the bridge and then just plummet into the water. But I think it worked out okay. And yeah, it looks nice. Oh, hang on, there's another fire. What is going on? Why are there so many fires all of a sudden? Have we got a resident arsonist going around causing problems? Um, Where are they heading? Where is the fire? Oh, just out in these trees. Oh, that's okay. That's fine. That's all good. 
Um, okay, that oil jack is not quite depleted yet, but you know it's um, it's slowly getting there. Uh, law enforcement building is up. Uh, is that gone? No, there's six percent of resources left in that gas mine over there. But we are working our way through that too. Uh, which law enforcement building is that? Is this in the new place? Yes, it is. Okay, right, lovely. Hang on. There's a box. Space box. Oh, that's exciting. Hang on, we've got telekinesis. Pick up the space box and fly it back over here. Where did that come from? I assume a spaceship must have crashed over there at some point. Um, yeah, can we go and look at the box, please? Just three common messages. I mean, I'm very tempted just to open it right now. Just to go, yeah, it's fine, just open it. It's okay, but we possibly should get somebody to look at it. Because if it does say... This box is full of terrible things and people are screaming inside, shouting, please don't open this box, you're all going to die. Then I will feel a bit silly about opening it. So, uh, yeah, maybe we should just you know, do a little bit of research, you know, go through the due diligence process first, make sure it's okay. And then we'll open it up and have a look inside. Is that one of the upgraded water pumps? They look very exciting. They've got little kind of boat sail things on the top. That's quite fun. And um, the game's nagging that we're not researching anything. I know, it's fine. Don't you worry about it, game. It's all good. Um, I think then, maybe, to wrap things up, what we'll do is, let's do a little bit more water on this lake here. Let's just cast a few more of these, like that. We'll do lots. So, seven contributors. So, can we get that back up to over, say, 80%? That'd be quite good. And the gas miners finally run out of gas. So, okay, we shall take this apart. I imagine... We might get some beams back from this because yeah, it's a new thing. It's a kind of a fancy sort of space agey sort of a mine. So do we get beams? Yeah, we do. Well, various other things. Yep. Yeah. Okay. So salvage that. Thank you. And now all we have left all oh, meteors. Can we see where the meteors are going to go? I don't think we can until the actual event starts crashing into a building. I don't think we can see where the um, where the meteors are going to go until that begins. So we could either skip through to the next season using our big pile of creator points, or we could possibly generate a sort of um, a bubble somewhere in case it's going to crash onto us. I am a little bit concerned. I'm a tiny bit concerned. Um, I like the bridge, though. The space bridge is good. Hopefully it won't. Oh, they've got a little bridge. I forgot about the baby bridge. Got a little bridge. Um, hopefully it won't get demolished by meteors. I'm tempted to just leave that as it is, and then we'll see where they are. Although, as we've said before, the chances get higher and higher each time these meteors come around because we're covering more of the planet with yeah, with Cabordia. There's more of Cabordia for the meteors to hit. So we will see. There is another fire going on. I think we might have a resident arsonist going on. There's got to be somebody messing around with this. There's got to be. Also, surely some of that rain is going into that lake. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Lovely. Uh, right. Keep some points aside, just in case we do need to generate a gigantic big shield thing. Uh, how's that lake looking? 78%. Okay, one more cloud on that, and then don't do anything else. Just yet leave it for a bit until we need to create a big shield to possibly save us from great big gigantic meteor death. Okay, meteor countdown. Three, two, one, zero. Where are they going to strike? Let's go and have a look. So meteor storm incoming. Nugget astronomers are predicting a meteor shower. Please don't be anywhere near our stuff. Please don't... Oh no. Oh no, this is terrible. In two minutes... This area here is going to get hit by meteors. Oh, this is terrible. Big Ben, the space bridge. No, many exciting things. Okay, right. We have to protect this. Um, we can put the shield up. We can do the shield. Uh, okay, right. Where is the shield? Gigantic big bubble. There we go. Create a temporary shield to protect your civilization from disaster. We're going to have to do that. However, we will do it near the time. We'll do it near the time. Let's speed time on for now. Oh, this could be awful. If we can't protect all of that. I mean, do we create four different bubbles? How much is it? How much is it? 15 for a dome. But then, of course, that depends on the size. So we might want to create. When we get down to about possibly like 15 seconds or something, we'll try and create a big bubble in the middle. 
but then we'll put some around the edges as well, just to make sure that if the meteors aren't entirely on the mark here, that we can then sort of defend against them. Okay, right, this is kind of, you know, the, the last big threat we had was the aliens, I think, and the gigantic Stampy Death Robot. Now we've got this, which could cause, I mean, it's localised damage, but it would still cause some problems. And Big Benjamin can't be destroyed by meteors. That's not very good. Right, here we go. So we've got 15 seconds left. So, gigantic bub... Oh, hang on a minute. 184 points. Protective dome. Boop. Okay. <laughs> right. I think it should be fine. Uh, the dome is big. The dome is way bigger than I thought it was going to be. Okay. Protective dome. Do your stuff. Oh, hang on. What? Are we... We're, shoot, we're shooting them out of the sky. The, uh, really? The defense towers are shooting missiles up at the sky. <laughs> Look, they're firing rockets off to destroy them in the sky. <gasps> that is completely amazing. They're not even making it down here. Although, where are the um, where are the space boxes? One of the big things about them is that we get space boxes out of them. Okay, so I created a giant bubble for no reason because our defense towers completely had our back and took care of the threat. I mean, we we didn't even know it was there. The people down on the ground just saw some lovely kind of happy fireworks. Okay, marvellous stuff. And there's another fire. Um, okay. Doesn't seem that the planet's getting any hotter. So maybe there is an arsonist. I don't know. We've only got two criminals. It'll be a little bit unfortunate if one of them was an arsonist. But okay, the Nugget Fire Service have taken care of it, which is good. So I think with that done, we will wrap things up for now. And we'll come back next time. We shall do our final bits of upgrading, which is going to be basically the water pumps. And that's kind of it for now. So get all the water pumps done, which could take a little while. That could take a while, but that's absolutely fine. So we'll get that done. We'll try and top up the lakes with some more you know, magic rain type stuff. Just make sure there's plenty of water around. And then we'll do some more research. But I think possibly whilst all that's going on, we'll try and top our steel beams back up. And we will have attempt number two at getting the Hyperloop in. I don't know what happened to the last one. There were lots of theories put forward in the comments in the previous video. Some people were saying a road got in the way, which I don't think is the case. Some people were saying that maybe it was the sort of the enemy nuggets who went and destroyed it because they didn't like it. Or they built a building too near and it kind of stopped its path or whatever. I don't know. I'm not entirely sure. But I think maybe if we start over here... But then instead of going across the water, we go along the edge of the mountains. That could be quite fun. Although those guys are over there, so we might have to cut back this way. But um, yeah, I'm determined to get one in. I'm determined to make it work. Because I think it will look completely amazing. And it'll be a lot of fun. So we'll try and get one of those in next time. And, um, and then yeah, maybe we'll work our way through some more science. And then possibly take a look at heading off to another planet at some point in the not too distant future. That's something that we do need to do as well. That's kind of like the next big step, isn't it? But um, but yeah, we'll try and do all that. Oh, and Nuggetoids. We'll try and get a little kind of robot nugget factory set up over here as well somewhere. Maybe near the airport, I'm not quite sure. But yeah, that could be quite fun too. Just see what they're like and how they work and such like. So maybe we'll think about that as well. So plenty to do. Plenty to do. I know we're sort of relatively near the end of the research tree. But I still think there is a lot of work here to do in the universe. And so we'll come back next time, see how we get on with all that kind of stuff. Hopefully you are still enjoying this. If you are, please do leave a like. That would be most fantabulous indeed. And also, if you're not already, then please do subscribe to keep up to date with how we get on here next time out in the universe. Sim. But for now, thank you very much for joining me in the Geek Cupboard. And I'll see you next time. Move out of the way, friend. I'm going to completely ignore you and do some comment moderating. <laughs> Kung Fu Croquet. Maria, you've broken my heart. There you go, some more flowers that I stored on the back of my pants. Lovely, there we go. As you can see, I'm having the wildest of times. Enormous banana massacre. <laughs>